All right, so we here we have the Andromeda. Um, it's intended to be a towing ship, at least this version. This is an Andromeda T, ITC Andromeda T. Um, it's been outfitted with a tractor beam, as you can see here. Oh, tow hitch rather, not tractor beam. My apologies. Um, but um, the idea of the ship is to be able to quickly come into battle and under fire grab another ship and bring it with it towing something rescue ship um, the ship's been outfitted with um, ports for to be able to attach um, um, tripod guns uh, there's two over here uh, in case it's needed um, this one over here which is also the one that is used to refuel the ship and here is about five of them um, for any pilot, uh, any crew that might come with the ship. Um, the ship has been everything of pretty much of not necessary has been removed. Uh, what the ship has is left is mainly for rescue operations and things like that. Unlike the original ship, this also doesn't have a reconstruction machine in order to save with money, but it could be added if necessary. Um, other things that the ship has is lights and of course it looks really good. It has um, the the um, door, the bay door that uh, its predecessor has and um, just the same color scheme and everything. I'm thinking of adding some maybe a designator or three to make it as T for tow or I might just leave it like that as the Andromeda since it seems like this has better use than the processor. Over here we have a dummy Kopesh uh, as a test um, for the for the towing operations to see how it performs. Um, this Kopesh has been um, it's just completely whole except for the things that may not be added like the um, transponder and the FCU which I removed just in case it'll cast it could cause any conflicts with the with the Andromeda um, to I could add it but uh, other than that it's just a uh, regular copish with everything it should be similar in weight to what you will find in the field um, so um, other things that I want to show about the Andromeda it's heavily plated the ship has um, been outfitted with Sherodium um, and bastonium um, in some oop, I didn't mean to do that in some sections in order to to uh, make it a little lighter. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's even necessary. I think we could probably add more bastonium to it, but depending on the ship that it's going to be hauling, I've decided to leave it like that for now. We can in the future maybe modify it depending to our needs. But this is basically what it is. Uh, ship's been completed at this point. Everything's working order. I've tested it and I wanted to show you so you can see how it performs um, on its own. Alright, so let's get started. So here uh, is the door, uh, access for the ship. You can access it on both ends by, um, you know, doors, all that. It has lights, of course, because what's a ship without any lights on it? <coughs> um, back doors, and easy access to the rods on the vessel. Um, and a uh, repair for in case you need to refuel or stuff with it. I might add some spare rods over here in the back. Um, I don't know, I haven't done that yet. I guess it could be added at some point. Um, the ship has is double plated in some areas and single plated in most. Um, the top, it's single plated. Um, but the bottom, I believe it is double plated. 
might work on that a little later, but so far I think it should be enough for the type of ship it is. It has a uh, field over here, a, a cargo lock frame um, to hold any weapons or tools or anything you may need. And he of course has the field. Um, I think it's the buttons here. Which will hold even more equipment or items or parts of the ship that you want to bring back that might be torn to pieces. Um, how is that going to be operated? It's going to be decided by, I guess, the crew. Um, you can always have a a towing hitch, handheld towing hitch, if you want, and use it to pull back some some stuff in there. I don't know. Uh, I guess some create uh, creativity for it is in order. Um, where's the? Uh, I haven't touched this thing in a while. But here's the button for the um, front door. It allows you to, you know, load people in and out through here. I don't think he has any. Oh yeah, it does. I thought it didn't, but yeah, it does have a button in the front <coughs> to access the the door. Um, and he has double cockpit for in case of emergencies if the pilot gets shut out on the other side. There's a cockpit in here that one of the crew can just jump in it and pilot the ship if needed. Um, <clears throat> given how film the glass is. But here, um, here there used to be a a um, autopilot system, but I removed it. So now it's just a panel that has been powered, just in case somebody wants to do anything with it. I decided to just leave it. Could be removed too if necessary, but I don't think it makes much of a difference to be honest. Anyways, the cockpit, um, <clears throat> it's pretty all inclusive. It has the standard readers like the fuel, um, the tow mass, load, um, all the buttons over there. Um, I would like to take a moment to explain to you guys some of the differences in the in this one from other versions. Um, this one has a speedometer over here at the bottom. Uh, it has a, re a heat reader. I have never seen the heat climb enough to register anything in there. Um, but who knows? Maybe it will ever be needed. Um, it has a tow mass reader over here. And the two the, the, the two tow buttons. Um, this button is where you activate your tow hitch. Um, <clears throat> and the status indicator here will let you know um, if you're locked or not. If it's blinking and red it means uh the tow is active but it's not uh nothing is hitched to it so it's basically searching ready to go and once it actually tows tows something it will turn green letting you know that you're good to go your toe or your low button over here uh, moves your hitch into the rear position um generally for making it simpler for when you're towing something have a little bit more range um, boost power maxes the power out, um, so you're always got generator running at ca capacity. <clears throat> and um, the alert button is uh, if you want to notify people on your ship that something's going down, um, it will just pretty much signal a alert, and um, then it'll just have basically all the um, you know, people ready to go in there. Um, it has um, a button for opening and closing the front bay in case somebody leaves it open. And the cruise and turtle buttons, as usual. This turtle button, I'm gonna remove it. I just realized that shouldn't even be there for the video. I guess we'll have it. Lock prevents people from opening the doors. And lights, well, just fix And then you got the shutdown button. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and give it a try. See how this thing works with the Kopesh. Trying to get it. Oh. It went a little too far. Can't see the. There it is. I think that's the Kopesh over there. Let's go ahead and give it a go. 
So we turn on the tow towing hitch. We come in flying. Let's grab the Kopesh. Right towed. We load it. And we just fucking go. Get and run. Um, as you can see, that the, it goes all the way top speed with a Kopesh attached to it. Um, <laughs> just keep keeps climbing. It's, I'm not sure if it's top speed or not, but either it's top speed or it's close to being top speed. Um, let's go ahead and put cruise so we can check it out. But for the most part, everything seems pretty much standard. Um, we got the battery at max capacity, it's not losing anything. Heat seems under control. Um, and as you can see, the status turned to green, letting you know that you got the copage in, in locked up. Um, now let's go take a look at the ship. See how it's, it's towing it. And here's your copage. Being towed, no problems. Here it comes. So I guess I could call this a success. I just, while recording this video, realized that there's a couple of things that I need to fix in order to make it um, clean up the ship. But you guys got the gist of it. It seems like it's completely reliable and it's working as intended. So well, thank you for watching and hopefully you get to enjoy the ship. And it's just like what you wanted.